Alright guys, I'm all healed up and saved, and this is uh, back on the screen where the crystal used to be, I think. And uh, apparently I just managed to walk myself in a huge circle. I don't even know. It was probably wasn't even a circle, it was probably more of a, like a pentagonal decahedron or something, I don't know. But there we go, Edge reaching level 19. God, we've almost broken 2-0. Crap, I don't know about these crawler guys. Like, they seem like like the way you hit them is just so... Like, you have to hit slightly above them when you're attacking. But, like, even then, sometimes that doesn't work. I don't know. It's all a matter of uh, just learning, I guess. See, like, he blocked it that time, I think. Yeah, they, like, turn around and, like, block... Do I have to hit him from the back, maybe? Or from the front or something? He kind of looks like a little mini Dodongo thing. Maybe I have to bomb his face. But I don't have any bomb spells or any bombs to speak of at all, so... Sometimes the treasure chests have bombs, but I can't take those out because they blow up in my face! God, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Let's see here, though. Uh, go. Oh, was that lag for a second there, or was it just, like, the screen scrolling in a really, like, grindy, kind of grudgingly thing? I don't know. Dude, you respawn in, like, fuck. <laughs> or was that a different one? I hope it's a different one. I hope he didn't respawn like that that easily. For now, let's just get out of here. Okay, so this this whole this whole big screen is just so weird. The only thing I found of interest was that one cave that I saw, but that apparently didn't lead anywhere because like I need to go in from the other side or something. I don't really know what was happening. All right, that's just a big circle again. Actually, it's more of a mini circle within a circle that's in a circular circle. Alright, I'm pretty sure the way to go is to the left over here, though. If you can get around the trees, you guys. Yeah, thank you. Right, and this... Yeah, this is where the creek is, because I was talking about that, like, Canmore story. Why is it... What the hell? Oh, it's because... It's because I changed Sydney's action grid, I bet. That's one thing I did on the way back to heal, actually, because someone recommended I change, like, keep away and, like, set her attack higher or something, because she has the bow. I don't know. It's really weird. I might change that back, though, because... If, this, if she's gonna keep like slowing us down like that randomly, I don't know. I might have to change that. Mm. Let's see though. All these dead ends, man. This is kind of scary. The thing about it though is that like sometimes I can't tell what's a dead end and what isn't because it looks like you can like walk between the trees sometimes. Okay, so I actually do remember, I, I went up here, oh, hello. Looks like that was a mimic for a second, though. Uh, hello. A riot gas again? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, let's see. Yeah, there's nothing down this way, is there? There might be. Uh, it looks like, maybe? Eh, not, I guess not, yeah, this is just, an, like, a little, another little workaround. Alright, yeah, so the only way to go from here is up. So, so far, it's not too much of a maze. It's just, like, two pretty straightforward paths that are just hidden really well in huge areas. Yeah, see, Sydney's charge on her attack to, like, level 1. That's what I said earlier to do, so... And there's, like, a way to go here. This is... What is this? What? I didn't see this before. Temporary light fuses can travel. Oh, so this is just something from later that I can't really deal with right now? Well, that's just fantastic. How random. There's like a cannon travel guy not even too far away from here. Why would they do that? I don't know. Silence level 4. That's going to confuse me, of course. God, I, I guess that is what that does, because like every time I get silenced, I get confused. So it just doesn't seem like, based on just the name of the spell alone, it sh like silence shouldn't confuse you. I know, I guess that would confuse me too, like, just randomly in, like, not being able to speak anymore or something, just, like, for no reason, that would just be really confusing. But it wouldn't, like, disorient me, I wouldn't start walking in, like, opposite directions of what I want to and, like, talking, like, gibberish. Well, I probably would start talking gibberish, actually, with the silence. Or I can't go that way. Is there nothing, like, to do in these ponds or anything? Uh, more crabs over here. Crab craps. Get out of my face. I think it might be time for a heal really quick. Let's see. I'm getting real, getting a little bit higher in the MP there. 
Uh, oh, did that? What, did that level up Undyne? No. Oh, that was just some casting a spell. I thought I heard like a little sound effect that signified something good happened. Yeah, and here's the cave again. So there, there must be something I can do in this cave, right? First things first, I'm gonna get rid of this jackass. Uh, wrong way. Here we go. Uh oh, he's not close enough, I guess. All right, come on, buddy. Where is it? There we go. And gem missile on your face. See ya. Sayonara. Yeah, see, I can't get past here. Is, what? But there's like another entrance over there that I see. Is it, is it like a hidden entrance and I'm supposed to see it from here? Like, do I like go through these flowers maybe? Like the the other entrance should be somewhere around here, right? You'd think. Like just through here or something. I don't freaking know, man. I'm like channeling my Pokemon instincts. You know how in like Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and stuff, there's like that one hidden cave under the bridge. That's what I'm thinking here. Except like I don't see it at all. This is so fucking. Oh god, I'm to 32 minutes in this recording. A 33 actually. Oh, hey, Sydney reached level 20 last lost something, I guess. God, I really didn't want to end up like this, just wandering around. Like, the, literally, li these two videos, this video and the last one, just walking around in circles, I tell you, this is totally worthless to even keep in. Oh, God, I'm almost dead. Oh, someone leveled up. Who is it? Who is it? It's Argon, of course. Because it always goes Sydney, Argon, Edge. Should have learned that by now. You know what else those guys remind me of? The crawlers? Randall. Pygmy eyes? Oh my god! <laughs> Good lord, dude! I didn't realize the Rygast could do that! Oh my god, that's so cute! I look like a little 8 bit dude. Oh, that's so funny. God, I don't even want to revert back to normal. This is hilarious. I do like one damage too. That's so cute. Or zero damage, even. God. How, how adorable. And it, there goes Edge reaching level 20. Well, we're all up in the big 20s now. Almost ready for drinking. God. Some, I don't know, guys. Something about this screen right here. It just evokes pure 90s gaming bliss into it. Especially given the context. Just getting lost. Having no idea where to go. But just having fun enjoying the environment, you know. I don't know. I'm stupid enough. Shit, I just died again. God damn it, I really suck at this game. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Hey, Sydney reached level 21 as we kill another pebbler. The pebbler's probably gonna kill us too. God damn it, I was right! No! Ed just had to die at that exact moment. Oh, oh, such irony. Such is the face of irony. Argon reached level 21. God, how many levels have we gained in this video alone? Like, four? Good lord. What?! The axe breaks these?! Dude, I'm just randomly switching to the axe because I, I want something different. What?! No, d d d no. There's no way it was that easy this whole time. You've got to be freaking ki How did they even expect you to know that? Use axe on what? Whoa. This is... <laughs> well, I can't say I'm in favor of the whole axe on rock action thing, but... I gotta say, this is like a little magical cavern here is kind of worth it, I guess. I, I can't have my weapons out, apparently, so, so I guess these guys aren't enemies. Can I talk to them? We say Matango to greet each other. Okay. Well, Matango to you, buddy. There was a guy up here, too, wasn't there? Is it, Or is this just a statue? Shoot, don't do that. No, I don't want to fight you again, Kimono Bird. You've caused me enough problems in the past, like three deaths now, I think. Unlike others of our kind, we're peaceful. Yeah, I've seen, like, the mush boom kind of dudes before, but, uh... You guys are the first that can actually speak to me, so that's kind of neat. Uh, yeah, we say Matango, what about you? I'm sure King Truffle can help you. Oh, I hope so. Let's see if we can find this King Truffle character. This is kind of cool, though. 
We're not equipped to fight monsters, even though you are monsters, sort of. The force has become a dangerous place. You're telling me, man. What the hell has happened with those crawlers? I mean, seriously, they've just overrun this place. Gauntma means goodbye. Oh, Gauntma, I'll see you later, I guess. Gauntma. Did they actually go out of their way to make a whole language for these guys? That would be so cool. Um, This reminds me of, uh, I forget what it's actually called, but it's Isun's village in Okami. It kind of reminds me of that, especially with, like, not leaving yet, I hope. Nope. God, just so many nostalgic little memories like that of other games. It's kind of cool, actually. And even so, I've never actually seen an area quite like this magical in a game, and it's so cool. We aren't equipped to fight monsters. Yeah, I know. Like the third one that said that. This is Fung Castle, home to King Truffle. You know, Fung, like Wan Sum Dung. I'm sure King Truffle can help you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> These guys are starting to sound more and more like broken records. Oh, we got a little shop here, though. That's something. See, I got- I certainly got enough GP to spend. Look at that. Wolf span. That'll probably be good. Uh, fancy overalls. Wow. Steel cap. Quill cap. I think I already have that for those guys, but... Well, I guess I'll buy some new equips here, then. Uh, looks like this is for all three of us, so I'll get three of those. And, uh, this is also for all three of us, so... Might as well try it out just to see. And this steel cap over here, I think that's just for Argon, yeah. Alright. Uh, not right now, buddy. Be seeing you, thanks. God. <laughs> I'm so glad it's not like the dancing man in here. That wouldn't make any sense at all. It's like, dude, how'd you get in here before me? Okay, where's my, uh, equips? There we go. Alright, so let's see. This will go from 7 to 13. Perfect. And, uh, now let's see. This will go from 6 to 8. That's, uh, nice. And this will go from 13 to 22, almost 10 increase. That's perfect. And I love the color fuchsia there. That's so neat. <laughs> they, they hardly look like overalls. They look more like glam rock suits or something. All right, Ed, you're going to have to equip your glam band suit too. Oh, also the wolf band, I guess. Uh, and then go ahead and get to the pretty pinkness going. Yeah, look at that. That's perfect. And now just sitting here. At least this will suit you better than it suits either of us. God, 17 to 22, that's not even as great of an increase, because she had a pretty good thing before. Don't forget the wolf span for her, though. And, uh, I guess I'll sell... I'm probably going to cut this out, but I'll sell all my excess equips that I don't need anymore, and I'll probably buy some more supplies, since I can't ran low, so... Alright, I just got done selling, and I still made it out with the respect... I got done selling and buying everything, and I still made it out with over 12,000 GP, so... Pretty well set. I don't know how expensive things will get later on, but seems to be pretty good for now. Anyways, let's keep on exploring the little uh, fun castle. The king's inside. Perfect. Is this Watts right here? It totally is. Phew, I thought you already left. Really? Well, I don't have any orbs for you, dude, so uh, none of them are ready quite yet. At least I don't think they are. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. But what about you? This man's told me all about you. <laughs> I've actually never seen that word, like... I don't think all about is actually like one word, but that's kind of funny how they did that. I saw a white dragon. They're supposed to be extinct. Was it a luck dragon? Because I've seen a few of those in my time. Our ancestors once rode flying animals. White dragons, I believe. Amazing. A white dragon was spotted yesterday in a cave to the north. Or are you sure that wasn't a, like a kimono bird? Legend has it that the mana beast took on the fortress. Animals similar to the mana beasts live in our world. Sometimes you see them flying through the woods. Yeah, I've seen those guys. There's a whole bunch of them. They're so cool. Alright. King Truffle is a splendid ruler. However, he's reckless. Oh, he looks kind of crazy. He reminds me of, like, of those, uh, dudes, the big puff shrooms in, uh, Plants vs. Zombies. Here at last, the legendary knight. That's a terrible voice, but I'm going with it. You don't think we have legends here like everywhere else? Well, let's see. Let's listen to your legends for once. That's a nice, short, sweet legend. That's you guys, right? I knew you. I knew right away. Just yesterday, one of my people saw a white dragon fighting a huge snake. It was scary, but you used the first floor exit on the right for the cave. 
Palace? I know where it is. The first by the cave. I'll tell you how to reach the palace. Oh, and then and there's something upstairs for you. Upstairs? Is there an upstairs? I guess yeah, over here, sweet. Please be an orb or something, I don't know. Not just like GP or anything crazy like that. Let's see. That's little hay beds there too, that's kinda cool. Got javelins orb, yup. Sweet, and Watts is like right downstairs too, so this is just absolutely perfect. It's also absolutely bonkers. I love this place though. And it's crazy little like the music's not even that crazy, it's just it's, it's just so fitting. Oh my god. Oh, we all lined up so perfectly there. Alright, Javelin, I don't really use you that much, but uh, here we go, level 3, and it turns into the Light Trident. Well, with a name like that, I might end up using it a little bit more often, I don't know. I'll probably end up switching, like, video. I am up to an hour in this recording? I did not wander around for that long, did I? God, I'm so stupid. And I don't have anywhere to save either, so I'm just going to keep on going for the time being, I guess. I know I, like, I'm going to have a lot of that to cut out, too, but, uh... Is it this? Let's see, you may pass. I guess this is the cave then, okay. It was just right inside the palace, I didn't realize. Oh, is this a save point? Please be a it looks like it is, too. Uh, what well, nice, 50 GP, yeah, that's well worth it, my friend. To stay in those nice, cozy looking hay beds. I've always wanted to see sleep in a bed made of straw like that. But I've never been in a hootenanny enough place to do that, I guess. And we're all healed up and chipper to go. And on that, my friends, I think I'm going to have to end off this recording. Good lord, an hour and five minutes. Probably the longest recording I've had of this, but man, it was fun. I, I know it was mostly just me wandering around like a jackass again, but, you know, sometimes you just got to do that. It, it, it lets me take in the atmosphere so well, and I'm actually glad I managed to figure that out. Totally randomly, but I did. Alright, so next time we'll see what, uh... What's going on with this, with like the white dragon and stuff, I guess that sounds kind of neat. God, this part of the game is just so fruitful and magical. Stop rambling, dude. Okay, thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.